the DLTC y'all y'all <laughs> if y'all was a filler yo that's the feeling yo and then I asked I said so is it just easier to get a license here as opposed to a traffic register number what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Joneses boom what's up beautiful people it's me Rigga Jones Jr. and we also have the fam and it's easy now we are on our way today with a mission in mind, a focus in mind, and the objective to accomplish, which is to capture and to get our traffic register number. Now, for those that don't know, it is something that you do need if you look to drive here in Johannesburg, South Africa, and you're not just visiting, okay? For those that are doing longer stays and things, this is a document that you need to get. So we went to go get it on the weekend. It didn't work out, but Monday is when they said to come back to do so. Therefore, it's Monday. We are out here on the hunt with a mission. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get these paperwork. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where we at today. However, I'm gonna start this bad boy off with prayer because I need to get my mind right. Because on Saturday when we went for it, it was it was a lot of confusion. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I got frustrated and I don't want that. I don't want them problems. So much so, Crystal, as we love, she started playing worship music and was trying to change the atmosphere, which she did. So praise you to the Lord. However, I thank you, Lord God, for this great, great day. I thank you for the things that we are going to get today will be accomplished. I thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper, but we will have a mind that stayed on you, that is flowing through with love. And I thank you, Lord God, that everybody that we are in conversation with and interact with, we do so with peace, with joy, and a heart that loves. Thank you, Lord God, for all all good and perfect gifts coming from you and i thank you even these documents and paperwork will be in our hands lord god very very soon it's in jesus name i pray amen amen boom shakalaka so kiddos y'all ready y'all look good crystal you ready all right y'all y'all ready subscribe to the channel if you're not already done so we will greatly appreciate it as we are on our way to 50,000 subscribers in 2024 i believe we can do it because people like you all watching and subscribing at the same time but nonetheless in it all let's go for it and uh we're gonna bring y'all along the way and talk you through the steps when and if necessary all right Okay, you guys, so we just left the DLTC. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> if y'all was a filler, yo, that's the feeling. Yo. Aibo. Huh. Bill Tong. Yo. <laughs> All the things. Yo. I was. We are really out here trying to do what we're supposed to do, but we keep getting very conflicting information. Like, and so it's getting so confusing, honestly, like to try and do this. We were told multiple times we can't even get a register, whatever. We pushed through, we pushed through, and finally she did agree that we could get one. But we got to go to like the police station, get a sworn, get a affidavit. sworn affidavit, like, and I'm just like, and then also only I could get it. Ricky can't get it. Because she said only one traffic register number could be issued to a vehicle. So if you have two drivers, you have to have two vehicles, one number per vehicle. And I said, huh? So there's no recognition that two people can drive one vehicle, yet alone four. You know what I'm saying? Like in the States. But nonetheless, she said no. One traffic register number per vehicle. But then later said you could come back a month later and then try to apply for his. But if you could do it a month later, why can't I do it today? Like, I'm just literally so confused at this point. And then I'm just like, she asking me, what am I doing here? Like, well, what do you do? And I'm thinking like, I feel like I'm in the visa process, application process again. Like. Why am I explaining this? Like, I, you see my visa, literally. You see that I'm here legally. I have a visa to be here. So I'm really confused why I'm interviewing for my visa all over again. Then she asked, Ricky, what do you do? What do you do here? Like, 
And I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I'm just confused. And I don't want to not be helpful to get what we need. But also, I don't want to answer questions unnecessarily. I, I, I don't. And then I asked, I said, so is it just easier to get a license here as opposed to a traffic register number? She said, you gotta go over there. I said, but is it easier? Is, would it be better for my situation? Cause you say you can't do but one number per vehicle. She said, well, you have to have a traffic register number to get a license. Oh, well, <laughs> wow, we back here. Well, let's talk then. <laughs> and we trying to get the traffic register number because then she was like, and you have to have she was like, and you need a vehicle. I said, we own a vehicle. And she was like, oh, you do? And I was like, yes. And she was like, well, you have to get them. You have to get the give me the paperwork to show you own a vehicle. I said, they won't give us the paperwork to show that we own a vehicle until we get a traffic register number. And she was like, well, you can't have the traffic register number without showing me you own a vehicle. And I'm like, so how do you get out of this circle? <laughs> like, it's a circle. that's all I want to know. Because everybody at the dealership is like, you need a traffic or register number. Everybody at this at this place that we just, well, first of all, the first place we went to, they told us they couldn't help us. We had to come over here. But then <laughs> the people over here, like, you need the paperwork showing you own the vehicle to get the traffic or register number. But then, and then she had my passport for like 10 minutes. I'm like, where is she at with my passport? Like, bring it back. <laughs> like, and that's the thing. Like, in the States, there's two pieces of documentation you really don't play with. And that's your passport and your social security card. Ma'am, where did you go with my passport? And the guy's like, your passport is safe. I'm not denying that it's safe. I'm saying I need it in my possession. Like, cause you've been gone a long time with my passport and I don't even know why you needed it to go ask whatever question you're asking. Like, it was just a lot. And it, and you know, I'm not saying the lady not trustworthy. What I am saying is we just trying to do the right thing. And that's it, that's all. But it's a lot of hoops, you know what I'm saying? We double dutching. We double dutching right now to do right. But we do have friends that went to the PostNet and they were able to get it. It took, it will take three weeks to get it. And so that's where we're off to now to see what PostNet has to say. Yeah, because we were gonna really, we were trying to go to the DLTC because they said that we could get it the same day. But ultimately, that's not really seeming like an option because all this anyway, she's talking about we gotta call the dealership and have them to come with us and like just some other type of stuff but i'm like i know the people that we know that moved here that went to the post net they didn't go to the police office to get a sworn affidavit i'm sure that would have come up like and then like yeah it, it's just a whole thing it's a lot of details and different things and, and then i also couldn't hear she talking through the glass i'm like ma'am i can't hear you like i'm i'm genu like my face is literally almost like touching the glass I'm trying to hear what she's saying and i can't hear and i know she was trying to be helpful so i'm not trying to downplay her at all what i am saying is y'all need a picture chart to understand what needs to happen just just to help because again this is now the third really the fourth person because the first person we talked to was the officer the second people we talked to was at the dealership. The third people we talked to was at Waterfall. This is a fourth person we are talking to and all of them are saying something different. Everyone is saying to do something different. And so it's just like, how, Sway? Yeah. And I, well, I will put up a picture of what they, like what's at the DLTC or whatnot to show different things to get the tracking number like we'll give you all the documentation that we gather along the way yeah so that you could just have a mental mindset of what to do however what i do believe the key thing is is that when you purchase a vehicle have the dealership do or it. the person that you're buying the vehicle from do this process with you and immediately I believe that's the way like that's the way to get past this our person did not do it with us he was in the midst of some things and so he don't work there no more Correct. So we out here trying to do it ourselves. However, when you purchase a vehicle, make sure the dealership does this process with you. Because that's I, the key part. Show them you had the money, but don't give it to them so they agree to take care of this. Because it's just, yeah. Even she's like, you need all of these things on this paper. I'm like, I have all these things on this paper. And she's like, but you can't get it. 
And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but I'm checking the boxes. <laughs> like, I'm just... <sighs> On to the post net. Let's see what happens there. <laughs> Please. Please, God. Please. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On the elevator up and the bin more. Ah, I thought she was going to say something. <laughs> Rick, you want to say something? Just like that. Hey, man. Without saying it, you did. <laughs> All right, great people. So you see the smiles. Yeah, I was about to say the smiles are bright. The smiles are great because we have come to a conclusion of this uh, matter, huh? This epidemic that was trying to develop. Now, long story short, we ended up talking to some uh, other American friends that have moved over from the states, right? Being American, and they told us that they went to the PostNet, right? And so they gave us the idea that PostNet is where we could be. And therefore, upon leaving the Marlboro Center, yada, 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 with all the woes that Crystal talked about and so forth and so on. All the woes, all the foolishness, all the untruths, honestly. We go to PostNet. We get up to the counter. Hey, we would like to get a license, you know, traffic register number and things like that. Oh, just go to the side. Who's at the side? Our friends. Our friends that told us that they went there and it was an easy yes. process. But again, we're going to wrap God up in this, you know, at the end. But nonetheless, in it all, we get to the desk. Guess what he asked for? Passport, you know, to do a yes. copy of the passport and a copy of the visas that we have. Yes. It could be black and white or it could be color. That is all that was required. Yes. Once we gave him the copies, which we did right there, because it's a post yes. they have a copy machine. We only had to pay 12 grand for that. However, giving it to him, he said, okay, cool. And then he took our pictures. And then we took passport pictures, because you have to have pictures for your traffic register number, okay? And that was it. He filled in the little information, little information at the top. And then we had to write our name and sign. And he said, usually it takes between two to three weeks, you know, but- I didn't even write my name. You did it for me. Right, right, right. Hello, I wish we could show them the paperwork. Oh my gosh, this form, and I'm like looking, it's like a four page Here, form, I'm gonna show front and back. Quickly. One, two, three, yes. Four page form, front and back. And I'm like, ma'am, even some of the questions, I don't really fully understand them. Like, what am I supposed to put here or there? And she's like, Oh, just fill out whatever information that you want and you don't have to worry about the other stuff. Well, then why are they asking all these questions if you Form. don't need all the answers? And she's like, oh, just put your name and your address. Form. But I'm confused. All of this information, it was, it's so much information. And in the back, four pages, I'm telling you. So much information. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. But I told Ricky, this is part of the thing. You start missing me when, when it's gaps yeah. in what you're saying. And so I just start being like, do I have to listen to any of what you're saying? Because <laughs> you're saying, oh, yeah, you need to fill out the form, but only fill out whatever stuff you can do. Well, then why are all these questions on the form? Oh, you can have a traffic register, but he can't have a traffic register. Whoever is most important for them to have it. Correct. Well, if it's a document that you need to drive legally, then... We, we both, both need it. Oh, well, one per vehicle. So nobody shares Here. a car ever. Like this, the stuff you're saying doesn't make sense. Like, and when you're not making sense to me, I start tapping out real fast. I need right. somebody to give me real information. That's it, that's it. And the post net, so calm, cool and collected. Not only will we have a traffic register number, but potentially we'll get a license as well. Yes. And, and that's a part of the process. So here's the key part. With your traffic register number, you're also able to get the disc on your car. You're also able to do the transfer ownership. Now, the fun thing we learned about the disc scenario, go ahead. There is a 21 day grace period from when you're supposed to get the disc. And obviously you don't want to operate in the grace period, but Ricky and I have literally been trying to get this thing situated, honestly, for months, honestly. Yeah. And so it's like, we're getting down to the wire mm -hmm. and it's stressful that we just found, or it could be stressful that we just figured out how to get what we truly need. Right. Not because we waited to the last minute, cause like I said, for months we've been trying to figure this out between the dealership and everything. But the guy's like, you have a 21 day grace period. It's okay, your stuff will be back in time. 
Nobody told us that. Nobody told us that because ours expires on the 31st of March, right? So we're giving y'all all the information. The 31st of March, when it expires. So we like hope, frantically trying to move and get stuff done expeditiously. However, he gave us that peace of mind. So for everybody, yeah. now it you said know. Our stuff should be back even before then. Don't worry about it. Don't worry it. about it. No stress. So we happy, happy, giddy, giddy, glory, glory, happy, right? Because totally different experience information and scenario from where we were to the yes. post net and so all that to say if anybody needs to get your traffic register number we highly recommend post net okay we went to the one specifically at the benmore gardens yes. however try to find the one that works best for you but if you want peace of mind that's the one to go to yeah and don't it, go to the dltcr whatever whatever it is don't the go YMCA, there don't do none of that because and i genuinely say that because it was such a circular process Oh, to get your CTN, you need the ownership of the vehicle, but I can't get the ownership of the vehicle paperwork until I, I have the CTN. Ricky's like, should I just get a license? Well, you need proof. Uh, you need the CTN. Try well, I can't get this, I, the CTR, whatever. I can't get that without having the proof of the vehicle. I can't get the proof of the vehicle without having the It's so circular. It's like, how do I break out of, I told Ricky, how do I break out of the circle? Like. <laughs> Go to Postnet. Go to That's Postnet. how you break out the circle. Correct. it's foolishness. It's foolishness. And so for the cost, it was 5K ran for both of us to get the paper ship or paper ship, the papers like process and all those things. And hey. Without having to do all that paperwork. Correct. the stuff, doing the things. Correct. People may say in the comments, that's expensive. You're paying a lot. However, for peace of mind and it. for the convenience and for the expedited process, it's worth it, it's right? Worth you pay it. for convenience. Even the professionalism. The the like... There were oh, people yeah, yeah. popping in. I'm like, oh no, we're gonna get skipped. No, as soon as it was our turn, he said, come have a seat. Immediately, it took less than 10 minutes, less, honestly. True. Like, and even less than that, really, because once we sat down to do our stuff, definitely like five minutes. Right, because it was three boom, lines. Boom, boom. Like, That's it. You take a picture of it for your own documentation and you sign at the bottom and he has your number. You do have to have a local number, right, yes. that you put on the form. And with the local number, they'll reach out to you once it has arrived for you to come and pick it up. And then they'll do the this process with you from there, right? And so the God moment in it all is the fact that we were having this conversation with these great people that have moved over in yeah. the midst of the conversation they just shared and talked about how they went to the post net to get their traffic register number and i was like oh, okay cool like it just dropped in the back of my mind but at the same time we were you know directed to go to the D -I -T -C -D -T -C -R all the letters right by officer chris which i mean shouts out to officer chris he did what he knew and yeah. told us the situation so he that's got why he started on the path to know we even needed any of this correct and so you know there's that However, in the reminder or in talking to Crystal, because we talk about it all, she was like, hey, let's just go by the post net and see what happens. And we'll see. Listen, if, let's see. Let's just see. While she was back there playing with my passport, I said, I'm going to get my passport and we just finna go to the post we net. We just like go to the post See net. what happens. Like, and there's the guy moment, right? Because that was to let us know that that's where we need to go but then even what put icing on the cake when we arrived to the post net the couple were right there getting their documents to traffic register documents because both drivers yes. were able to get the traffic register number and just again the reminder that no this is where you should have been this is where you could have had all of this done with a peace of mind however god is so good right and as god is good to us we'll continue to share those god moments with you all and so I that you can walk in the flow i was gonna say and i love it too because you know the benmore is literally we can walk to there from our home I do. and i'm just saying that because sometimes the solution god is trying to bring to you isn't even as far as you think and that's just a word just for somebody that yo the solution god may be trying to bring you you running all over the the country the world the nation everywhere trying to figure it out and god is like the solution i have for you is closer than you think just rest Rest and receive. He got you. Rest and receive, because you already believe. But at the end of the day, we are here for you all, as Rain said, bars. We're here for you all to help you take whatever step necessary from where you are to where you want to be. So as you tap in and tune in and subscribe to the channel, you'll receive more information like this. You'll receive encouragement as we give it, because we're showcasing and sharing the life that we're actually living and the life that God has given us to enjoy. And so all that to be said, Traffic Register has been... It's in process, but we already know we received yes. it, right? We already know we received it. And as it's we situated. continue, yeah.
So that part, check. And as the other parts and documentation comes about, we'll obviously share that information with you. So in it all, with it all, we love you all. We appreciate you all for rocking with us. Thank you for your prayers. And thank you for tuning in. Until next time.